Hello, everyone, and welcome back. This week, I'm with Colin and a special guest, Mr. Adam C over there. I heard there were MGBs. And here we are at MGBs. We are looking at a massive selection of cars across three bars today that Colin has very nicely driven us up to. Thank you very much. Lovely. So let's have a look around and see what's laying here. Okay, so first off in this part of the barn, we've got this absolutely incredible looking Jaguar. I don't, again, not quite sure. I think this is a Mark 9. Oh, it's not got the boot lid, but it's definitely got that sort of small squat back window shape of a Mark 9. Ah, lovely wood interior in there. Obviously, you know, completely destroyed and I think pretty much the story for every car here is that none of them will ever be back on the road again. There's a, a boat there, that can be for another channel, but look at this lovely Porsche 924. That's quite a rare colour as well. Again, as I said, I've found loads of these. They, oh look, it's got the proper checkerboard interior. Now I'm always wearing stuff like checkerboards, hound's tooth, anything with weird patterns. That is me down to a T. Ah, oh, look at the dashboard though. It's completely cracked up. It's a manual, which is nice. Lots of space in the back. Look, a massive cobweb over there in the back. I think Adam was quite excited by the MG. Adam, why, what, explain. This is this, my first car was a 72 MGB GT in this colour with a sunroof, and I, I've noticed the bonnet has been, I think. I'll just have to walk in this, it, in this rain. There, so I don't think it should be opened. Oh, yeah. can, we not, can we not do it? No. Okay. Well, we could, but we don't want to break No, take a look at how cool this BMW 635 is. It's got a nice, uh, Oh, not a livery. <laughs> nice sporty lines down the side, we'll, we'll call them that. Oh, it's a left-hand drive as well. And the interior in this is really clean. How is that so clean when all the other cars here are just destroyed? Maybe that one could make it out someday. We don't know. That's got, so that's 145,000 kilometers on the clock for this. That's so quite a low mileage one, and yeah, the seats seats are lovely. Can we open the bonnet? No, oh yeah, it's open. Aha! Oh. I like how the gas big. struts still they still work. Out. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, that would happen. I think, I think that that could potentially be safe it would be quite a brave job but it's not it's not sort of rotten in there i mean yeah there's spiders webs and it's all corroded i like the surface corrosion but it seems unusually solid a little bit of rust there oh i love this car it is it is a bit rotten and it's i don't know i don't know if it would ever make it out mate you're flying low today <laughs> Caught you looking. <laughs> right. <laughs> you seen inside? Yeah. It's really clean. Really clean. I'm just going to show the guys actually yeah. how clean this is. Um, this is actually. Let's have a look at this Jag. Now, my uh, dad owns one of these and. My mum's favourite car. Ah. Whoa. So his is an auto. <gasps> it's but manual. This is manual. Which actually makes it quite a bit more desirable. It smells like apples, weirdly, but, oh, 77K, look. And I like these because they've got these dials in the middle, which uh, the later ones didn't, but I sort of prefer that earlier look. Mm, saggy headliner. But again, <laughs> these are, uh, these are all dead. Oh, look at this VW van. I love that colour. I would imagine that's probably some sort of a fleet vehicle. Don't recall seeing them in yellow. But I know I did a place once and uh, BT had yellow vans, but they'd changed it by that point. Okay, Adam's, Adam's saying a lot of car words I guess here. we need to climb over to get in. Yeah. Well, yeah. Some... Oh, look. Oh, right, okay. Oh. Hello. The irony of the no vehicle sign in this incredible bar. So you've got a Rover three and a half litre here. Can we get around here? Oh, he's had the uh, rear wing taken off. So. 
very English because it's all completely broken. Oh wow, okay, so the interior of that, that's incredible, I love that. The mileage is 8493, so maybe 108,000 or something. Is that an old fax printer and fax machine over there in the back? I really do like this interior. Ah, that's a shame. Maybe, maybe one day. Right, let's have a look over here. So we've got Ranger over there. Loads of stuff like that. 205 convertible. Now, let's go and take a look at this lovely American car over here. That is a Silverado. Uh, no, no, it isn't. It's an Eldorado, Cadillac Eldorado. Let's uh, go and take a look inside. So, oh, look at the sun coming through there. Very unusual car to find in a barn. Does it open? Oh, no. That's a shame. <laughs> you can't win them all. So, let's take a look in here. 205 convertible. Oh, I like the colour of these cloth seats. Well, the original colour is quite nice. The uh, ripped colour leaves a bit more to be desired. But 85,000 miles on that. I imagine these were uh, put here when they were really easy to get hold of. And these guys, are, they're just car collectors. I guess they've just got bored with their collection and left it like this. But um, they've certainly collected a few, haven't they? Let's go and have a look at that Mini over there. So because he now doesn't want to get out because he's got one and it isn't done up, I'll show you this Mini with Colin still in it. Let me just cover that bit up. Why? <laughs> oh. But... <laughs> Go on, move without, it. without looking at that, <laughs> look at the mileage. 26,697 miles. This. That is low. This that is, is very low. It and is. This smells like my granddad's Austin as well. Does it? Yeah. He, it, well, it wasn't one of these, it was a mini metro, bit but of, that um, takes me back. A little bit of knowledge here. This stalk here yeah. is the very stalk used in the Lamborghini Countach. That's because this is essentially a Lamborghini Countach. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> It probably smells it. like one. Well, oh, look, it's got a hound's tooth. Oh, that would go so well with all of my shorts. Oh, oh it's got a massive box of spares there too, look. Look at that. Oh, lovely. Oh, this one probably would make it out, yeah. apart from that. Oh, brilliant. Oh, I want to get in there. Go for it, man. Yeah, all right, mate. Oh, oh these little minis. Look, protect us. What's that? A, look. That's Colin, that's for Colin, that is. No, that, goes, you, that goes to a very special place. That is, that is yours. Oh, it's also um, an auto, this one. It's been left in drive, though. It's not very good for them. Or we'll, we'll leave it in neutral. Never sort of really given these minis the time of day, but the more that time goes on, they are definitely starting to grow on me a bit. Don't think that I'm, you know, massively uh, enthusiastic for the prospect of, like, crash safety and stuff like that, or probably even comfort. But just as an, a cool old car... These are really starting to do it for me lately. I might have to get one. And over here we have this rather nice, although slightly rotten Mercedes CE. Ah, yes, as always, the Mercs from this era had a lovely interior. This one's very blue. And the most oh. springy seats. Really springy. Really springy. I'm not suggesting anything, but... <laughs> Have you uh, have you not sat in my car <laughs> for springy seats? I don't think I have, actually. Oh, okay. Well, I was going to say, I w I've got to be careful that I don't put my feet through the floor, but I've had a recommendation, so... Oh, okay. No, that's then they're, they're not comfortable, but they uh, are springy. Are they springy? They are okay. springy. I will give it to you. They are really springy. I love these. I love the cluster on these. Well, it still has a smell it's of got... the era of Mercedes, as well as the mould. Yeah. I like this. It's got a proper Blaupunk radio in it. Yeah. That is very good condition. That's uh, normally all blistered off, isn't it? And look, this one's got sunroof as well. Yeah, I'm, I know Mercedes are trying to make cars like they used to again. I just don't think they're hitting the formula recently. And if you have seen my recent video, which of course you have, where I've just gone and bought a C-Class, that's probably sort of the last of that era. Right, oh, that door doesn't shut very well. Right, let's go and have a look at something else. So we've got a lot of Jags. We've got Sovereigns, like the XJ6s, these sort of older Jaguars. I don't know if there's a Mark II around there somewhere. And here, we've got an MGA now. <coughs> I just fell over. <laughs> Look at that. I love these little details. There's another one here. 
This is quite, this one here is quite a late MGA, but it's mostly been reduced down to its shell now. Quite an unusual find. True British. So we've got some more MGs. Oh, a Morris 1000 convertible. Lovely. Right, let's have a look in here. Yeah, it doesn't open. That's a shame. <laughs> okay, we'll go look at the Jag then. Very crusty around the bottom of the doors though. But this is a proper Prime Minister car. I think Margaret Thatcher was travelling around in these, wasn't she? Look at that. That is a smoking room on wheels. Proper oxblood red and wood combination. Oh, and a mileage. Oh, 01. Yeah, they didn't like doing high mile uh, chronometers in these cars, did they? Look at these seatbelts as well. I love that. Britax. Proper job, that. That's so nice. Just what you'd want to be chauffeured around in. Have you looked inside this Jag? Oh, it's the nicest one here. Love that. So, what else have we got here? More Jags. Triumphs. Oh, that's a bit spicy, isn't it? Escort XR 3i, is it? It's been crashed. Had a little bit of a smack. Very nice, or 80s. Well, it's not a hot hatch, is it? Because it's a convertible. But uh, these go for some decent money now, don't they, these escorts? These seats don't look too bad either. Well, it seems like so far, most of the best cars have been left in the barn, which is where they're safest. But who knows if anyone will ever get them out. Nice little Triumph Herald. Very, I think they were sort of simpler cars, weren't they? The, Try it, Harold. Right. Yeah. I don't know what's under this. It's an estate car, and it is rather large. So maybe it's some sort of a Mercedes. I don't know. Is it a Volvo? Adam says it's a Volvo. I can't really see. I assume it'll be a 240. Well, that's what I yeah. Say. Yes. Look. Beautiful. Unfortunately, I can't get in there because stuff's just fallen all down next to the doors. Those are cool cars, the Volvo 240s. Everyone loves a 240. Ugh. Right, over here, what's... Ugh. Got some more MGs over there in the corner, some Jags. There's a 205 GTI, let's go and have a look at that. Very clean number plate for that, given that the rest of the car is so filthy. And you've got marks all up the windscreen from where they've had foxes and whatever climbing all over the place that's absolutely filthy that's the kind of car that i like to find on ebay and go yeah i'll buy that oh now look at these seats very nice beautiful i can't see the mileage on there no it's just out of the way but you probably beautiful now this is a nice jag smaller than the other one similar kind of interior so same sort of era, but I like that a lot. And this one also has a sunroof. Okay. For Paolo to golf, what an upgrade. GTI. Is it GTI? And look, Estelle and Matt Whitaker. James, look behind you. Yes, mate. What? No! How <laughs> dare they? This is coming out immediately. <laughs> Citroën BX? I must document absolutely everything about this car immediately. What? What's? Oh, I own loads of them. They're lovely. We didn't arrive in a BX though. Oh, this is a. This is lovely. It's got Peugeot Pepper Pot wheels on it. It's. Uh, what a beast! Oh, I hope it opens. Oh, just a little bit. Oh, that's uh, that's not very pretty in there. 
that's what my interior in mine originally was until I threw it away. Is it rotten down in there? No. Mm, it's got some decent panels on there that I could make use of. Never mind. Can't save every BX, but I will try. I have to make contact with the owner and get that out of here, I think. Right, let's go and find where Colin and Adam have gone. So, Colin has just shown me, yes, a CX Safari. These are humongous. Oh, you've not found another Citroen, have you? Yes, of course I've found another Citroen. Look at this. What a beast. It's very rotten. It doesn't have the uh, usual seat. This is a, is this fa Oh God, it's got beaded seat covers as well. Oh, I like this. Oh, yeah. Look at it. It's basically a hearse. It, it smells like one. Mm. Oh God. Is that it's an Austin not... Maestro behind it? It is a Maestro. Ah, oh, lovely. Now oh, this MG one, Maestro. good spec, because it's got electric windows and it's got the golf ball ashtray which is what the Mark 1's had. These are a really cool car. I'm being told that I'm being left alone while I look at the Citroen, but why wouldn't you look at the Citroen? Well, we, we have looked at it and now we're looking yeah. at... But there's so much oh, more to, there is such... There's so much more to look at, Adam. There is. That is hanging on for dear life. Yeah. yeah that, that is a, a Nats whisker that is clinging. MG Maestro. That is an MG Maestro. It's not a turbo though, is it, no? No, no. Oh, hang on. What is it? No, okay. no, it's, it was it was the red logos were sort of thrown off. But no, these are huge, these CX estates. And look, they have metal roofs, unlike every other Citroen, which was fiberglass. Oh, that's a show. Look at that. That's a smashed MG, <laughs> Adam loves an MG. The bumper has done most of the bumping, fortunately. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's a bit of bonnet damage, but... Oh, actually, the uh, yeah. offside headlight. It's not the worst. It's not the best. <laughs> See, but then you you look at these and then you're like, well, it doesn't matter because they're only ever going to end up cubed. Yeah. Dame of Sovereign. Another yeah, look there. at that. Target Ford Gloucester. Lovely. Right. We'll Beautiful. No, we're, no, we're not. We haven't even gone yeah. in the bar. Uh, no, this one's locked, I think. No lock in the Dame, I'm afraid. Right. Oh, another very rotten XJS. Oh, is that the XJS, Colin? Is that an XJS Lister? Well, I was going to say it looks like a It looks like a Lister. Oh, I haven't even looked on the trailer up there. Oh my God. Oh, I don't know. We don't know if it's a Lister. Lift the bonnet and we'll find out. You ready? Yeah. Three. Two. No! It's not gonna it doesn't want to go. It's too rotten. Ooh. I don't think so because it's a straight six. It's a straight but six. it's got the list of spoiler on it. It's a manual. Yeah. And what, what's that? With air still in the tyres. That is. I want to say Hillman, but I don't think it is. No, it's got no, a very. This is very interesting. Yes. This, this is a. Very, very rare car. An Audi? It is a Audi. Oh, it's the Audi um, 100 Coupe, isn't That's it? it? Yeah. Um, okay, I'm gonna have a look at that in a minute. Oh, so exciting. It's a Rolls Royce there as well. All right. Okay, so I've cheated and I've looked on the back and this is a DAF 44. Found a couple of these before, but obviously these are weird because we associate DAFs with being vans. And this is an auto one as well, actually. That's really cool. Look here, this car. Hang on, I'm gonna have to zoom out. That is just gorgeous. This is an Audi, I'm going to say it's a 100 coupe, but it's an Audi coupe. And you never see abandoned Audis. Unfortunately, that's not looking too clever, is it? I love that. What a good looking car. Got a little wider up there for the sunroof. Seats don't seem well, they're not great, are they? Oh, that's lovely, 95,000 miles on it. That is sex on wheels. I love that, what a design. Look at it. It might be a 14,000 mile car. Even dead, that car is gorgeous. That is one that is a shame to see here. A couple of Ford Sierras over here. Can't really get to those because they're fenced in by nettles and each other. Jaguar XJ6. 
Some more Porsches there. Ah, look, more 205 convertibles. I didn't know that was a Pininfarina car. Look, similar wheels on it to the ones that are on that BX around the corner, so. This one looks rather, no, it's locks. Looks rather clean inside though. GTI convertible. Porsche 944 there, a few more Jags over here. Oh no, that's a Daimler, this is, this is for the posh people. The Daimler Sovereign 4.2. Is it open though? Mm, no, it's, it doesn't even move. Nope, that's a shame. Very nice. Oh now look at this. This Mercedes has completely had it. That one is a real shame. All the plants and things growing inside there. I love these headrests, they look like cat ears. <laughs> oh that's a that's a bit of a sad one. But look, it's corroded just in the middle of all the panels. Uh, but this one is open. No, it just looks it. They're a bit deceptive here. Right, let's go and, uh, that's really uh, smashed up. We'll go and have a look now in the barn. I think that must have had a blowout look and caused it to crash. Uh, right. Oh, look at these. I love these old number plates where they've got all of that lining in them. That's cool. This is a, a very old Rover in here. <sighs> I can't even open that door anymore, I'm afraid. That's going to fall off. Oh, now look at this lovely champagne coloured Rolls Royce. Don't see many of these dead, obviously. Not many people would leave a Rolls Royce to die. That's a cool number plate, I like that. Right, so it's so easy to get distracted, isn't it? Must uh, stay on the car at hand. Is it open? Ugh. Nope. God, yeah, the roll is not held up very well. Now, although this car is locked, I can see there's a piece of trim in there wobbling around in the wind. So where's the wind getting in? Through the back door, there we go. Right, we're in. Look at that. That actually still smells quite nice. I've been getting a bit of an itch to buy one of these recently. Have you ever felt like buying a, an old Rolls Royce? No, I've got ointment for those itches. It's uh, probably the best idea. Well, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think they're it's probably... The newspaper date. They're fun, but they're probably expensive to do anything on. Oh, 2004. 2004. Mm. Okay, that's actually... Well, it's well, 20... It's no, it's Richard 20... Hammond. <laughs> <laughs> that does it like Richard Hammond. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's, I've not put that in a video. <laughs> it's a 20-year-old 20, 20 newspaper. 20-year-old newspaper. Jag. A jag. We've got a few of those over there. Oh my god, that is so That's bad. quite funny. <laughs> right, moving on from the rolls then. Right, let's see what's in here. Right, so, obviously Colin's been here before, but we haven't, and no. we don't know what it is. But look, did you see all of the London Underground stuff? <gasps> Where does that come from? Well, the London Underground. It's the sign the... of the underground. <laughs> sign of the yeah, no. <laughs> Sound. The sound. Sign. What's little? That's tiny. It's missing. It's it's missing some kind of Russian. So, so, oh, I thought it was an Austin. But... I don't know. What? Oh, mate, there's so much here. How do we? This is. There's not much room to get through. Oh, well, we'll go that way then. No, that is the front end of this car. Yeah. What? It looks like someone's climbed over the car to get in. The roof. Yeah, unfortunately. It G. It's got a G on the front. What? Yeah. Golding Young. Oh, no idea what that is. If you know what this is, I'll zoom out. And someone will. Please do leave a comment because that one has stumped me. I've never seen anything like that before. Right. Going back here, we've got a, what's this? A sign for Northwood Station. It's just been, oh, look up there, MG dealer sign. Oh, I need one of those. Yeah. <laughs> like we, we all need one of those. Look inside this very crusty door jag. Oh, that's much nicer on the outside than it is on the inside. But uh, yeah, I'd, ugh, I'm not confident that will survive. What's this? 
Looks like it. Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> we'll get around there eventually. Uh, that's, that's weird. Taking, I love the colour okay, of it. So, as Adam has pointed out, this is a Reliant SS1. Is it a Reliant SS1 though? Because it's got rusty wings. No, it's a Healy. Because that's what the H means. So, we're going to ignore Adam and we're going to go with what I said that it's uh, one of those Healy Sprite variants. All right, a little uh, per, uh, VW Golf Clipper Estate. Two 500 SLs there. But I hear some excited voices here, so we'll come back to those in a minute. I'm gonna see what's there. Oh, look, there's a Bentley over there. A lot of chairs as well. All right, let's get in here. What's this? Oh, it's a Lotus. Oh, that's a shame we can't get in these. That's in really nice condition, look. That's one of the best. That's the best car so far. What's this? A pink MGB. It's a pink MGB. Yeah. Look at that, what, with a hard top? With a hard top, racing hard You were wrong, by the way. That wasn't a Reliant, it had rusty wings. Ah, it was a Healy. That was it. That was the one. Looking, oh, wow. Oh, I found another lady. Look at this old van. What's that? Oh yeah. Used to be pigeons. What? Oh. What's and this? A massive bear in, in between. Oh yeah, E type bonnets. And look, loads of loads of beautiful women. Lovely ladies. <laughs> They've come to see us. <laughs> look better off. <laughs> Is this another XJS? Course? This looks like all stuff that you'd get at a sort of a jumble set or a carpet. Look, even an air fryer. Radio is just on. That's weird. The radio has been left on. I wonder how long that's been playing for. <laughs> They're singing Grandad We Love You. That's Colin's song that is. Adam is trying to summon a curse on London. It sounds like, what are you doing? Bidding his bands to play the doom, he'll equip the cry. These are all really difficult words to say. A higher art will mould our tastes to toot and wit and toot and wastes. And when their horrors ply the hoof, that house will rock from floor to roof. Right, okay. Um, Adam is definitely uh, trying to like do some dark magic or something. That's really weird. Anyway, the Jensen Interceptor. Oh, I, d I don't actually think I've ever seen inside one and I can't do that on this. It's had some wiring yeah. taken out of the midding, middle for the horn. These are worth a fortune. I don't know why that's just sat here. Is that a flat screen TV? Uh, yes. Yes. It's quite a modern that flat is screen very modern. TV. I almost don't believe that it's a TV. It look that looks like it was only produced yesterday. Hey. It's a Sony. It's a Sony. Yeah. Oh, right. Well then. There you go. That radio is just, uh, that's really old. That's the one, yeah. Is it the one that you can see? No, it's the it's one next to it, it's just really large. Okay, and what else have we got around here? Try it now. That's not a Dolomite, is it? I don't know my older tribes. Oh, okay, so I can't tell what that is over there at the moment. I'll just go over the back of this. Porsche 924. There are so many cars here, this is incredible. What is this? I'm gonna say it's a, an old Austin. If you know, please do comment because I like to know all of the cars that I look at here. And yeah, there's nothing on there that helps me identify what that is. And that is uh, before my knowledge. Now, Bradford by, J oh, Jowett. That's lovely. Let's zoom out on that a minute. They're a really rare car, Jowett's. Look, that's uh, all been cut up as well. Let's take a look in here. The Yorkshire car collection. How's that ended up in here? We're now in Yorkshire, so. 
Oh, that's lovely. Let's uh, let's get a little bit of light in here. Let's take a look in here. Very uh, big bottle of bells. The White Rose Rally, Trans Pennine Run, Manchester to Harrogate, nineteen eighty-three. Oh, and it's found itself in here. That's a real shame, isn't it? Oh, right, let's get out of here. Turn the light off. Right, there's so much to see here. This is going to be a long video. Oh, what a collection. Let's go find it. Now, look through here. This is just like the entrance to a cave. There's a car in there. It's a little mini. Okay, that's weird. I can smell food being cooked. A sticker bombed bonnet. Why can I smell food? And then the door. That must be the way into this place. Oh yeah, that's their house, look. <laughs> they must be cooking. Oh my God. I knew there'd be a car under here. In fact, there's two, look. Another MG, that's a sporty one under there. Oh my God. What's above us? There's a top floor and another, another door there. I honestly thought that was a TARDIS for a second. And so again, the latest news with Adam is. TV Archimera <laughs> and then Quite boringly, this yeah. this is only a year old. What? 2023. Oh, no. I was thinking, yeah, it looks uh, February 23, so almost two oh. years old. Yeah. And who cares up for, for saving thousands of people on your family ski? Oh, no, thousands of pounds. I thought that was I saved thousands of people on <laughs> my family ski trip. Uh, yeah, not so, uh, that's not some, so exciting, that's but that's look. some content you can't use. No, <laughs> I'm still gonna. <laughs> Oh, now look, there's an MG... MGF? MGF over there. Well, I'm just going to do some cleaning yeah. just so we can see more of the TVRs. Because he's, oh, mate, thank you. That is a... That's... I'll be done, MGF. Such a good service you're doing. <laughs> the, fact, the fact that it ends there actually makes it look like you have been doing that for quite a while. Look, there's all the poo. <laughs> <laughs> right. Look at these, SLC, nice ones under these covers. These I are just- I love you. <laughs> oh my God. What's with the eye? That's oh. the camera. <laughs> oh, lovely. <gasps> what? King Kong. King Kong, yeah, decent. A school pencil case for stars. Kings oh, of Leon box school set. School pencil case, that reminds me of school. I have this box set. Ah, oh, what, a, what a taste in music. Fleetwood Mac. Yeah, oh, we don't talking. get better than Fleetwood Mac. You've got Stevie Nicks, there of she course. is. Of course. I haven't got this album. Watch. Oh. Wait, hang on. Book what? of Love. Where? Uh, oh, it's Gypsy's on that. Yeah. Yeah. It's not one of their best. But... No, it's not one of their best, but Gypsy was a very good yeah. song. Uh, I had this growing up. This, we had a cassette, we had a cassette box, one of these. They've got Queen in there. What else they got? Space Odyssey. Oh, hang on. Ah, oh, I thought I saw Fleetwood Mac again. Oh, it was vinyls. Peters and Lee. They lied. Yeah, vinyls. So Adam's uh, shopping. Yes, I'm not going to take anything. He wants Belladonna. I just want to know. It's a great album. I want to know if it's here because if it is, I will. I will make an offer. Who do I make an offer to? Stevie Nicks herself. Uh, uh, can I? Could you throw in the <laughs> TV Archimera for free, Stevie? Yeah, look, She's well known for her TV collection. <laughs> It, there's actually absolutely nothing for me in here. That's a shame. There's probably more in here. Gutted. Oh, that's... What, what, what's this? A Bedford. A Bedford that you can't get in. There's more here. We can't go through them all. What about there's the not... James Martin cookbook? There's not going to be Belladonna. I'll just, <laughs> I'll just get it for you off eBay. <laughs> Adam now looks like a novelty condom. <laughs> <laughs> Right, there were some really cool looking cars over here that I wanted to go and have a look at. I don't know if we can get to them, but I can hear Colin's little feet scampering about. 
So maybe we might be in luck at having a look at the cars that are hidden over in the back corner. That. What? This. Oh. So it's either a, a Rolls Royce or a Jag. I think it's a Jag. No. Is it a Jag? Oh mate, that's, that's nice, I like that. Yeah. Now, what this we... is an SS Jag. I don't know what sort of modelling that was. So I've zoomed out a little bit to show you that. That is one of those massive Daimler limousines that Her Majesty the Queen would have gone around in. Look at this. Oh, and that is a proper limousine as well. Is it open? Oh, for God's sake, I wanted that to be open so much. It sort of is. Yes. Look. Oh, that is amazing. Very posh. Let's let's put the light on. So look at how nice this Daimler limousine is. Absolutely massive. I cannot fit all of that in the frame. It smells so good as well. What a beautiful car. Next week we've got another Jag. Now this one here, that was what I really wanted to look at and we've just obviously seen that that's a proper SS Jaguar from back in the day when they were called SS. Now, look out here, isn't that a, well, I think it's a lovely sight, bit tragic too. Lovely MGB. That's a shame, isn't it? 1973. 1973, but it looks nice. Very nice in yellow. The last of the chrome bumper year. Ah, they look very nice with the chrome bumper, don't they? Yeah. Mine's another late chrome bumper one. So you've got the, the creature comforts of the, the technology on, of the later all. years, but right. then you've got the chrome bumpers. Well, I noticed this as well. That's because it's yellow. Very much like that. I like its ugly number plate font. That's cool. Is that something in my shoe? Don't see them in yet. I wonder what you were doing. Yeah. Right, well, can we uh, see inside here? We've got the front door of number four. What? The front door, the front door, door of number four. <laughs> that's true. Oh, no. oh. Oh. oh, now that's clean. This is the cleanest car here. So that has got oh, 70,000. Oh, this is clean. This is. Now look, even like... Oh, this is nice. I really like this in yellow. I want this. Shit. I'm going to find myself buying more cars again. That's so nice. It's got yellow piped seats as well. Colin's found another bar. Oh, Colin's found... Colin's... What the hell is he doing up there? Right, let's go and have a look at Colin. Some more... <laughs> some more MGs and Jags. Jags, but the roof's leaking. So eventually those will get destroyed. But it's how it's Eventually they'll get destroyed. Acro yeah, One crops. day they'll be destroyed and ruined. At the moment, they're absolutely... Absolutely. Fine. Absolutely perfect. I'm being mugged off on my own video. <laughs> look, lots of uh, 1930s... Art Deco grandma furniture. Bit eaten by the termites. We can see why that's come off the road. Had a nasty whack there on the front. And of course, back then, no one really would have bothered because those cars were two a penny. And these have all been in here since the sort of mid 2000s. There is just so much stuff. I, honestly, I don't know what anyone would do keeping all of this it's just mad Look, lovely fiat coupe there I've seen a few of these here these are quite rare and obviously that one there as well what's down here now there's a little union jack on this and it's definitely got a very austinish appearance isn't it oh no it's a Wolseley. now that is the only Example of a Wolseley here. We've got loads of MGs. There's We've got loads of Jags. I've just had you tell me that there is another Wolseley. Oh, shut up then. Right. <laughs> this MG used to be... Wait, no, it is blue. That's... No, it's green. What? This looks like... This is a... What is this here? This is all smashed up. What is that at the back? This MG... No, it's not an MGB. Oh, my God. Look. It's a 308. It's a 308? It's a 308. I have no torch, so thank you for talking. It's okay. 
That's been on fire. That ha yeah, that's been torched. Can we can we see inside? That's not going to be an end. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Don't include that embarrassing moment Absolutely. from my life in your video. Um, should we do a little switcheroo? Yeah, Different hang on. Oh. Um, you're gonna have to go out, and then we'll have to swap over. Is that enough? No, it's okay. I've got it. Look at that. Well, I have found some things in barns, but never have I found an actual Ferrari in a barn. And there it is. And look at the wheels on the floor. I can't believe you just leave that there. Were these prone to catching fire? Well, probably. <laughs> I'm saying no. Friends. Is that a Dyson? <laughs> That is Dyson. Now, once I did a video. Dyson and Ferrari. It, like this that. is a Dyson DC01. This is the original Dyson. Of you know. I did a video once and I didn't mention all of the Hoovers. And I had loads of comments like, why didn't you mention the Hoovers? Why did you say nothing about the Dyson? Oh, so there welcome. we are. This is a world first Dyson DC01 Ferrari. <laughs> Look right. at that. I can't get the best. Okay. I think it's a 328. We have said it's a Mondial. We've said it's a 308. We've said it's a 328. Ratarossa, if you're watching, <laughs> save us. I'm thinking, looking at the front, it could be a 328 because I think it's a little bit hard to tell when it's, it's hard um, to tell when it's on fire in the back of the barn. Yeah, um, I'm gonna say 328. It will look really obvious when it's actually out and when online. Out, yeah, when it's online, we'll know. And look, there's the engine in there, Adam. Yes, <laughs> the, the gas trucks aren't quite holding up. There is absolutely it's nothing really of any use in this, though. I wonder if this. Speed. I wonder if this was bought as a Cat A write-off. Is this mount on some new projects? Is everyone's, oh no, don't. Everyone's <laughs> so you literally, everything yeah, else is just everything lit, else. completely Bang. lit. It's lit. It's lit. This is lit. This car. And then it's just it's taken all the paint off, so it's just rusted yeah, away. It's now. just rotten straight off. I can't, you can't see anything at the back. Yeah, I'm going to say 328. You're going to say 328. A bit, bit of damage there. Oh, no. oh, God, it will buff out, right? Uh, right, let's go and um, tell Colin like, that I found I it first. Colin, yeah. you are not going to believe what we've just found. What? Let's get your face. Um, A Ferrari. There you go. Really? Yeah. Where? Under there. It's fire damaged. Aston Martin DBS. <laughs> oh, I'm coming over. <laughs> Got to get Adam's reaction when he puts his head over the wall. <laughs> Hello. Hello. End car. <gasps> you look so regal. Is that? <laughs> With your busted crown. That looks like an Aston Martin DBS. That is an Aston Martin DBS. Let's go and have a look. Oh. Wow. Okay, so this really did save the best or last out of these cars. Look at that. That's incredible. Two fuel tanks. Oh my God. Right. Let's have a look in here. I've got to be careful because obviously I don't want to hit the door oh, it's locked that's a shame oh maybe the other side's open though so maybe this door will be open oh oh no it's not it's locked well that is as much as we can see right Let's go through. <laughs> we will you. still come back to these in a minute, but we're oh, going to have a look in the other this part. This is another fire damaged car, it looks like. Either that or it's smashed up. It's had all the windows put in. Yeah, this has been on fire as well. That looks like another one of those Daimler limousines. Oh my God, right. Let's, uh, I'm so excited to see what's behind here. I didn't know. Oh, oh what is that there? Let's go and have a look. Oh. They're Henry Hoovers for the people who love the Hoovers. Who say I need to make more Hoover content. Um, oh my God, what? 
Oh, it's a Porsche Targa top. Oh, is it fire damaged as well? Look at the Irish Ugh. And the one above my head here. Look. Oh, yuck. Yeah, so on that note, What's guys, happened to that? I don't know, but I want to get Not to go upstairs. Myself. I'm going to run around doing my <laughs> pictures and Instagram stories and a TikTok <laughs> video, and I'll see you back outside again very shortly. I wonder why there are so many fire damaged cars in here. This is really odd. Maybe they were buying them for, as parts cars because obviously you could never do anything with them once they've been torched like that. That DVS is so nice. Right, what else is here? Ah, oh, the old Snoop DeVille. Have that Snoop DeVille. Obviously, uh, I'll tell you later, quite not some of the Ferrari. Is. Um, look in here. Oh, and fuck. <laughs> That's so red. Wow, very red and very American. I do actually, uh, it's a little bit vulgar, but I do like that for its sort of 70s American appeal. Right, what else have we got here? What's this? This is also another rather swooping car. Maybe a Bentley or a Jag. Let's have a look under this cover. I can't get this cover out, actually. We'll, we'll try uh, a different approach to that. We'll go this way. Oh. Yes, it is. Another one of these big Bentley limousines. Well, no, that's uh, very jag, isn't it? It's a Daimler. Oh, let's uh, have a look at that with a bit more light. Look at this. Now the wood in that one's in much better condition. Got some nasty spider webs and a nice glass cider so you can separate yourself from your driver because who wants to talk to him? Can we get in the back? Yes. Again, nice wood trims everywhere. These horrible spider webs. The back seats have been stripped out though. Hmm. That would be uh, how you'd travel if your name was Princess Margaret. Look, Hugo. Hugo, Hugo. an alpha spider. Now well, that's funny because from above, this car looked a bit older than that, but uh, it is a 1990, 1990s H. Yeah. Later. Again, another left hooker. Mm. Here we have a Bentley, but I hate the hearse. it's absolutely huge. Ah, that makes sense. Do you want to go lay down in the back of it? Okay, so, sorry? Quotes from Johnny English. <laughs> I'm the hearse driver. I'm the hearse driver, apparently. Let's have a look. Let's see if it is a hearse. Oh, oh yes, it is. And the coffin is still in it. <laughs> no, but yeah, that is a Bentley hearse. And look, seats there to sit in. Ah, back when death was luxurious. No, that's... Uh, I'm sorry, by the way, that's a Daimler, not a Bentley. It did look a bit like a B on the uh, bonnet, but when you're making these, you get very excited and you don't necessarily pay all the attention to everything. Oh, that's very nice. Right. I think that's all the cars here now. I think we've seen a lot. There is the engine for this car because that's its logo. Tiny little two-stroke thing. Look, you just move that around. When was the last time you picked up an engine? Every day I'm a proper geezer. Yeah. Now, these are becoming a rare sight, aren't they? This is, of course, a Ford Cougar. Does it open up, though? Ah, yes, lovely look. So clean. That is the cleanest car here. That looks like, apart from those little cobwebs there, you could just hop in that and go. They could be a little bit temperamental, though, these things. Look how deep the the rear seat's there. Let's go and take a look at the BX. Ah, oh. wait, that's really slippery. Oh, this was difficult to get to. Lots of 205s here. We'll have to ignore those because there are just so many, but oh. let's have a look. Ah, oh, why? 
Why do people kill them? This has actually got really decent condition panels and I could make use of those for my one I'm doing up, but it is raining, so it will be wet. Oh, I think I've got stung through my shirt in the elbow. God, this is a difficult place to get to. Which model is it? It's from Long's Garage, Bridgewater. Oh, it's a TGD, so with the frosted rear lights. Ah, and a sunroof. Now, let's have a look. That is pretty wrecked in there, isn't it? Mind you, the sunroof looks decent. Oh, that one was definitely in better condition than the other one. Edith. It does smell horrible. It is a bit like Edith, isn't it? I think, we might I think, get out this way. I think Adam's stuck. Adam? Hello. <laughs> I think we can get out this way, mate. Oh, this this has got an apple on the top of it. Yeah. What's, what's this, another div coupe? Div no, it's not. What is Cadillac, it? it I think. Cadillac. Oh, look at the colour of the seats. They look absolutely beautiful. I bet they're still really comfy. And I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna give it a go. Let's see if there's coffee. So look. Oh, well, look at that. That's lovely. And look at these switches. I don't know. A Cadillac sort of, obviously not as rare, but they're a bit like an American Rolls Royce, aren't they? And so this is an El Dorado. And um, it's full of white leather. Obviously, it's not as classy as a Rolls Royce because it is American but it's still quite a nice place to be. What's the mileage? It just says zero, zero. oh no, there it is, 20,431. Very, very nice car. Right, let's have a look at something else. Over here, that looks like a Chrysler Grand Voyager. If you ever fancy a laugh, Google the NCAT crash test for that. It just, Right, so someday I will come back and rescue this. Ford Mondeo Estate. My mum had what? one of these. Oh, I thought it was a Chrysler Voyager. So did I. Yes, so it, did I, yeah. God, it does. So this, it must be high up on the yeah, back. This is the facelift. My mum had a pre facelift. God, she was, she was an OG, your mum. Look at that apple. It must be an apple tree. So, that's my uh, deductation. <laughs> There's mistletoe. Oh, God, and we're both underneath it. Yeah, Thank yeah. God it's not Christmas. Okay. Sheep are here. Is this nice? Oh, I see. Well, somehow oh, I just got hit by a stinging nettle through my shirt into my elbow. Yeah. And that absolutely sucks. But yeah, for the most part, it's been alright. Here's a nice Rover 30. Yeah. Probably a Rover V8 in there. It lifts up the other way. We're not going to be able to find it out, though, are we? It's all 205s. Well, not a 205s. Oh, there's a gate. I need to check through. Oh, it's a walk on the gate. Oh. Oh, don't, don't just ignore the Mazda 3 over there. I did see the Mazda oh. 3 And the heavens have opened. So just before we go, the last couple of cars here. Very nice. Very nice unknown car. <laughs> we do have a lovely Chevy Impala here. Look at that. That is a beautiful car. My God. How nice is that? This is, it's got these, um, it's got these like frame mantis style rear lights on it. Yeah. Like what a beauty. That's another favorite. Yes, very nice. And a Honda Civic. No, but, oh yes. Adam is in love with this horse. <laughs> ah, right, and that is it. We are now back to the end. So that is all from me for this week. So from me, Colin, and of course, Adam, who's over there. Please make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel for more. Check me out on Instagram at Auto Addict James. No, I'm not. I'm Road to Rust now. <laughs> I'll see you again next week. Oh, oh. Citroen. Wow. Another Citroen. Yeah, look, this, this is, is abandoned. Wow, this.